Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We only have one path to take here, so we shall take that path. You know, I should probably get this Pikachu here because of my styler. It's at 15, this will recover it perfectly to the tippy top of 30. So yeah, yep, let's do it. I'll save the Raichu for a later time. There we go. And... Success. And go. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got. Dusclops, you are new. I thought so. So let's grab you. Hopefully, maybe, you got shadow balls going along there or whatever the heck that is. And that was easy. <laughs> Whew. Now I'll be able to show that ghost Pokey assist. Finally! <laughs> Um, uh, I got the Soul Rock before, right? Right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Ooh, another Metacham. I'd like that. Yes, yes. Please attack me. <laughs> and I'm just saving up my Metachams for a special time. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> there we go. Um, uh, yeah. I don't think, if I recall correctly, I'll need... Psychic Poke Assists, so I'm gonna drop those, and you've already seen the Psychic Pokemon Levitation thing, so there we go. Uh, hey there. Oh, she's the leader! Uh, must be very windy in the cave. <laughs> nice to meet ya. Yes, I have. I, I didn't really shake his hand, he's just kinda on his way as soon as I met and he kept going on his way, but never mind, never mind. Uh, what's the problem? Uh, Oh, poopers. Well. Ah, uh, hmm. Huh. Yeah, that's... I don't... Mm, it doesn't seem too good. You definitely gotta do something about that. Oh, swine up, huh? Well, where is the swine up then? Okay, I can handle that. No problem. What the? Really seen what? Yeah, there was! <laughs> But, well, not that, not that way, um, well, I mean, I didn't see any more Steelix down that way. By the way, as you can tell, I'm slipping and sliding around here, I'm not really doing anything to move like that. And, yeah, <laughs> so it can kind of make it difficult to avoid Pokémon in a way. Sort of, kind of, but not that difficult. <laughs> I mean, you could, whoops, I thought it was still gonna be flashy-flashy, but... No, it wore off quicker than I, uh, quicker than I realized. Anyway, I'm looking for anything new around here. All oh, poopers, that is not good. That's a double threat. <laughs> mm, oh. well, you just had to do that. Just had to do that. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, there's the swine up. Just kind of got pooped down that shaft there. So I must have got lost somewhere. Well, there's also a loud dread over here. Well, we don't have one of those now, do we? Oh, oh. dang slipperiness. I forgot about that for a sec. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to show you over here. There's the pile of swine there. Ornery, we can't get through there. And there it is. <laughs> and yep, too dangerous to approach. That's why we got to do something about that. And that something is something up here. <laughs> I already got one of you, I do believe, so yes, so this sword over here, this hole is a slide formed naturally by ice over many years. Get ready to watch the bottom of the screen specifically, because we're going to be sliding and we can't stop moving, I'm going to go to the right path for that Loudred first. Watch carefully, you don't have much time to react, but you have enough time, there we go. <laughs> If you if you should end up in one of those other holes that you've seen along the way, you'll be end up you'll end up being pooped out a punishment shoot of sorts right in between these two platforms, like between the Loudred and the Swinub. So yeah, you probably don't want that to happen. And I just realized I am not showing the Poke Assist that I wanted to show. <laughs> I guess I could start by uh, showing it off on the Swinub. All right. Now we're going to take the left path. Well, I guess I can show the punishment shoot. <laughs> That's okay. It doesn't. It's not that all that difficult to get past this gold bat or anything like that. Even if it catches up with me, it's not that threatening or anything like that. So down we go again, and carefully we go around and down. Oh, no split path. No, you don't. Yeah, there's a couple of split paths there, but I'm only focused on the main left or right thing of jiggers. So yeah, there we go. 
Here's our swine ob, and we shall get that swine ob. And it's really easy to get without a poke assist, but as I said, I still want to show poke assist, so ghost type first, I guess. And yeah, when you do that, see the, the ghosts that appear when you do a loop? Yes, yes, that is how you get the Pokemon to do your your bidding, I guess you can say. And yeah, <laughs> very, very easy to catch, especially when you got so much time there. And yes, I wouldn't say wicked speed, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> Moving on with the groove on, we can now take this path right here. Swine will pop out of our party to go by its buddies. Yeah, baby Swine Up is back to the herd. And we can make progress. Woo! They are so slow. <laughs> Moving on, oh, they just disappeared. Uh, anything over here? I don't think so. Nope, just the Glalie. <laughs> I just seen the little, little peeking of a dead end. There, but uh, Glalie caught up with me. And we're going to be burning some time here, but that's okay. <laughs> Um, I think that is the correct route. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I, I seen the pile of swine, but I did not catch a pile of swine. So, pile of swine catching time it is. They are still just as slow, <laughs> even with their charge attacks. So, you could even circle around the ch its charge attack at risk of your Siler if you wanted to, because it's pretty easy to do. But, uh, eh, you don't even have to do that. You can just do some nice smooth circles. And I think I will catch this other Raichu. Just for the sake of safety's sake. I was almost gonna try circling around it there, but I don't know, we're okay, we're okay. I reacted in time. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I do believe that this, this is, yeah, it doesn't have anything. So Lyle Dread is completely useless. <laughs> So now we go up through this path here. I definitely recommend you save your game for what's coming up. But anyway, I need this golem for my browser. I don't believe I encountered a golem before in this playthrough. Oops. Like a couple of circles around this. Oh, shoot. It's very slow body. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. There we go. <laughs> It does, ah, it does between one and three boulder throws, I mean one to three boulder throws after you, oof, after you fail your catching or you take too long to catch it. Oh, come on now, we can do this. It's so slow, ah! <laughs> come on, golem. Just be my buddy, there we go. <laughs> I think I did one more circle there than I needed to, but that's okay. As long as I don't take too much damage, we are golden. Um... Uh, mm, yes, I will drop. Mm, 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 mm. You. <laughs> now over here is a side path that you can't do anything about at this moment in time. Yes, yes, so I'm gonna have to leave that for later. There's also another side path down below here, which we gotta leave for another time, so moving on. I'm gonna catch this other Medicham, just for the sake of safety as well. And to do that, I'm gonna finally demonstrate the power of ice. Create it, closing a loop, freezes the ground. And yes, yes, Poke Assist. So basically, we want a loop like we would normally do and freeze the Pokemon. Right in, oh, right in his place. Oh, oh, poopers, come on. Just do a slam, there we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> I knew I'd get it eventually. <laughs> Even without a Poke Assist. And that is how the Ice Poke Assist works. Now, as I said, you might want to save your game back there. I'm warning you. You might want to save your game. Okay, you should save your game, but I'm not going to because I think I'm skilled enough to pull this off. And I've got all the stuff that I need here. So I'm going to courageously risk the parts and go up here. It's Felix! <laughs> 
This is what people consider to be the hardest boss in the game, but I've got a strategy. Now, despite this being a steel and ground type, for some reason, your discharge Poke Assist works on it perfectly. Now, I'm gonna get it to go and clog itself up like in one rocky pile there by doing one circle. And now I'm going to do the discharge here. It's, it helps if you have it all charged up to the max. But yeah, that's good. That should be good right there. Now, what I'm gonna do is switch to, and also combine, I should say, with a Metacham. Oops. I wanna go and... There we go. That's it. That's all. <laughs> I had a strategy and I stuck to it. Now, if you should touch the Steelix's body at any time while it's moving around, you'll actually take damage from it. Like, yeah, it's its body is just that dangerous. The normal strategy that you're supposed to do if you don't use a Poke Assist combo like that is to go and try and circle it while it's doing circles around the room like this. But more often than not, at this point in the game, you're not going to have a very long line width. And thus, you're going to have to do really precise circles. So, I figured as long as the Metachams are in the cave, here we go. That's the strategy I'm using. So, there we go. See, it has a tendency to move in a loop, and that's that's the key to capturing it. When you're not using a Poke Assist, it's a circle around it quickly and precisely. But it's pretty difficult to pull that off without the powers of Metacham and stunning it. So, yep, I captured it. <laughs> Hmm, yeah, well, yeah, it's kind of weird. Well, it did say Go Rock Squad Steelix, didn't it? Didn't it? Didn't it? Come to check on the Steelix and I'll be darned, what do I find? A brat, some lady, and a stone-faced guy following up our perfect plan. <laughs> we wanted to shut down the tunnel by making the Steelix set off quakes galore. Well, we got our answer conveniently. Halt, Go Rock Squad! <laughs> and... They chase after him. Dead end there. There's also a dead end here, but if you want to check it out. Yep, 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 yep. This isn't even clickable, so we can't see any dialogue, but that is the Steelix's den. And that is what's causing the ice quakes and all sorts of stuff to be blocked off on other routes. But alas, alas, we can't go there. We can't go there. Perhaps ever. Okay, that's not true. But we are waking our way out of the cave now. Like, literally making our way out of the cave now. Here we are, out of the cave. <laughs> We're on the north road. Beware of ledges and drop-offs. Not that difficult to really, you know, avoid the ledges and drop-offs in all honesty. Oh, gee, oh no, I accidentally went over to the ledge and drop-off. Oh, geez, they're impossible to avoid. I just, I'll, I don't think I'll ever make it. Oh, no, I'm just so, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I just gotta not hit down, you know, it's just kind of the thing. All right, right, right. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> bye bye guys. You're just gonna leave off screen, I guess. We've made it to Windtown. And there's the leader. Mm, yeah, I suppose. It's true, true. Woo! We made it! Woohoo! Let's head to the base. <laughs> and... Oh, did he? Oh, hmm. Interesting. Yes, yes. Perhaps if we follow him, we can find it. Yes. Really? What? The other missions weren't of importance? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll probably be able to pull it off. And with that, I think I'm going to end off this part here. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.